Yeah, I do as well. Hello, Mr. Cat. Chili out in the sun, eh? Hey, good animal. Good cat. Ah, oh, got some old tools here. Got some new tools. Yeah, pretty strong. Oh, here's these for the odd trash job. You might be short on tools one day, so, eh, basic tools. At least you got never had the tools and put these somewhere. You might put these in the gear or something. You might chuck this back in the gear. From that bush somewhere, or something, or break down, or I've a score, or an old TV, or something, I want to pick parts out of, or something. I've got some basic tools. If I lose these, it doesn't matter. They're only stuffed anyway. Good quality German brand, German made wool. But now, Dad's ground it down over the years and make sir clip. So it fits the remove sir clips. Good bending sort of pliers for making hook and loops and copper wire and stuff. So I've uh, narrowed them down. I put a bolt in the middle of that and clamped it in the vise. So these are, uh, uh, they touch. So I can use this to um, loop copper wire and things, heavy gauge wire. And these are old pinches, which is uh, real rounded, but he ground them flat on the bench corner over the years, and they've just uh, chipped away. Here's an English made, Lynn Timmon, Wynn Timmon, England. At least be from the 50s, these things. C412, C421, and it's got 1D, 266. Pretty old. Got a good set of Nipex one sort of place, those. Pair of two for cheap, so good German ones. Everlast brand Australia made pliers. They're from the uh, 80s. I've uh, modified this for um, removing security flathead screws for our power boards, like what's in this uh, power board here. I've uh, hacksawed these since, but they've probably a little slot in the middle where a normal screwdriver cannot fit. So I've um, cut a hacksaw in the middle of this so I can go between the um, security part in the middle and undo those security screws. So these are good for undoing those sorts of screws so I can get them out and hack them with it, uh, cut them on a hacksaw and make ordinary screws out of them. And these old things, drop forged, Zenith brand. They've also wear those, point of nose, but they've been ground down for circuit pliers, so yeah, have some fun with those. Might melt them on the high current, might, we'll see what happens. Cheap pliers. That's came out of a um, tool kit from our quad bike, Suzuki quad bike. That's fed out of the toolbox on the farm one day, like Charles has cleared that. And there's old things. Yeah, something the old junk tools have a bit of fun with. Alright, well, the, I haven't got much battery left, so if it runs out, it runs out. So I'll put those aside. Uh, this still hasn't sold yet. Worst case scenario, if this doesn't sell well, I'm going to part it out. Got the pumps and everything will be quite useful, so no big loss. There's a heater there, got a good ballast I could use. Starting to still heating element that too. It's like the soft water softener in it. Oh, I won't leave it here for longer yet. Someone ought to buy it. Be happy to get maybe 80 to 100 bucks for it. It's a thing with um, dishwashers, not many people want them, but fridges and freezers are more common people want. Unless it's um, Mielo or something, someone will buy it. But there's an identical one like this on, uh, for sale, which um, no one's bought. It'd be a shame to uh, scrap it, even though it's not in really good nick. Oh, well, we'll let it go, we'll see how it goes. I've got to fix a drain pipe on it too. I might make a little thing out here for a parts washer or something. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.